All right, guys, so the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth was just released a little while ago. Uh, let's go and check it out. I'm super excited for this. So I went through and I imported my old save file data from Rebirth. So yeah, we got a real Platinum God save here. Uh, we can press X for the daily challenge. That is new. I checked that out a moment ago. Uh, I just played a little bit on the first floor and then I exited out. And apparently, you can't do anything else. <laughs> so yeah. Anyway, we'll move on from there. Uh, so let's see. Challenges, not stats. Challenges. Yeah, we got a bunch of new challenges here, which is pretty cool. I was looking at all this different stuff. So we got a bunch of those to go through. I think what we want to do, first of all, though, before we do a challenge, let's just play a run. Yeah, let's play a run through and see um, see what all the different changes are. So I was looking, and it said that Lilith is unlocked by beating greed mode with a Zazzle. So I don't know. Okay, here we go. So we got uh, normal, hard, and greed. I think we're going to try and play greed mode. I don't know what this mode actually is, but we will find out. Okay, so we got a little timer. Why did I just take damage? I don't know. Um, okay, so we got one out of ten coins. Got room this way. So there's two more coins. Oh, okay, so that guy shot me. That's why I died. <laughs> or why I got hit. Yeah, this is kind of weird. I like it. So once we get 10 coins, is that a win? Is that how this works? Alright. Still no keys yet. This is kind of a cool mode. I like it. Okay, we're gotcha. What is this thing? Oh, it makes little yellow flies. <clears throat> oh, maybe the eight out of ten, that's like the wave we're on or something. Yeah, because we're picking up money. Ouch. Alright. Yeah, we don't have any keys. There's a large room up top. Maybe we should go in here. We don't have a key for that. All right, let's go up this way. <laughs> oh, we got a shop. I see. There's a red heart that just fell on the floor. We can buy stuff with our coins. Huh. Maybe we should buy a key so we can get into our item room. And... Mini mush is not something I really want. Bomb. I don't know. I don't know what this thing is. Oh, okay, so that rolls everything in here. I see. Maybe we'll pick up two soul hearts just for a little survivability. Can I go in here? <laughs> All right. Death's touch. I like it. And we've already been in this one. Not like we really needed death's touch, to be honest, but not going to complain. A little extra damage. Definitely going to be helpful. Oh, we got take a fatty. Okay. Sucking all my coins to him. <laughs> gotcha. So we have an exit. Does that mean we won? What? There's a pentagram on the button now. Um. I'm kind of scared. <laughs> Let's pick up some more soul hearts and we will touch this. Okay, so I don't know how you beat this. Is it maybe just continuing to defeat all these bosses? Hmm, guess we're gonna find that out. Whoa. Okay, so that button has been pressed again. We can't press it anymore. We've got a shop up here still. Has anything been respawned in these rooms? Does not look like it. All right, so our exit is down this way. Let's continue on. And going down. Oh, okay, so there's a series of floors like this. I see. So it seems like touching this 
thing after you've already touched it does a damage to you. So that's why I took damage in the first place. Why I just took damage again, apparently. Oh yeah, okay, the button turns red. That's what it is. It's like little spikes or something. I didn't even notice that. Well, now I know. All right, so these guys are a different color than I've seen before. Okay, so they shoot bullets when they get killed. Over here, get the wall spider. Gotcha. And one more. Okay, got him. Some more money. And... Oh, <laughs> he's too quick. So it looks like if you don't kill these guys fast enough, it'll just spawn more monsters regardless. So that could be kind of interesting if you're playing a character that's not very powerful. All right, what do we got in here? There's nothing in there. And in the shop, something just fell on the floor. All right, so there's a red heart up there. Um, we could do the D4, which would re-roll our entire build. I'm not sure if I want to do that. The screw, I'm not sure about that one either. Kind of want to see what this card is. Two of spades, so that would double our keys. Two of spades. Okay, maybe we should re-roll what's in the shop here. We got 13 coins, not a lot of stuff here that would be super useful. Oh, can we only do that once? I see. Or maybe it's just <laughs> how it's just random, I don't know. Alright, so there's a heart. Mm-hmm. Should we go into the cursed room? Two bombs. Okay, so we do have a key. Let's go in here. Yum heart. Not really useful. So we'll leave that alone. Don't really care about it. Let's go and press this. Boss time. Oh, it's a haunt. That seemed different. The haunt spawned with four ghosts, not three, unless that is just something special for this particular game mode. Gotcha. Okay, so we can press the button again. I guess that just gives us an extra, an extra round. Double boss or something. All right. Yeah. Very easy. Come on, Pin. You're done. So we do have a devil deal. Interesting. Aha. Uh -huh, satanic Bible or flying. I think we're gonna take the satanic bible because that will give us additional hearts, right? When we use it, give us a black heart every time we use it. Okay, and there wasn't anything in here, right? All right, just double checking, making sure I'm not missing something. Going down. Death's Curse of the Unknown. What's going here right away? Box of spiders. I don't think we want that. What's up in here? We got some more soul hearts. Okay. We don't have a thing to re. Oh, yeah, we do. Over there. Got it. So let's pick up this. Let's hit the re roll. Oh, maybe it's just a random amount of money you get that thing. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and use Judgey over here. The little coin beggar. Gonna give us a key or something good? What is that? Is that a free reroll? I don't know what this item is. Restock, never ending stores. Uh huh. The lovers. Okay, so I don't think that item's gonna be super helpful on this particular floor since it seems like uh, all of the stuff always restocks immediately. Let's pick up that soul heart. We're gonna go into the cursed room. There's a bed. Okay. That just restores our health, right? Now I wonder if there's something special uh, with the bed here, like there was <laughs> when you find the bedroom. Nope, nothing hidden under the floor there. All right. So let's go ahead and do this. Gotcha. 
Mm, gotcha. Mm. All right, so that wasn't too difficult. So we got exploding skeletons, and they shoot really fast. Okay, so that is definitely new. We just hang out over the little void here, and these guys won't be able to get to us. Nice. Guess our satanic Bible's ready. We'll go ahead and use that. Whoops. <laughs> well, that's a quick way to get rid of everybody anyway. Alright, so we gotta watch out for those bullets. I wasn't really expecting that, even though I should have been. Grab a little bit of money. What do we got up here? Same things. Um, deck of cards. Evil up. I don't know if we want the matchbook. I kind of feel like we want to re-roll this room. I'm gonna pick up another one of those soul hearts just in case. So at what point does this re-roll? Okay. Oh, we got the D6, huh? Hmm, and it's seven cents. Oh, man. I think we're gonna hold on to that for a moment. I don't know if that respawns between floors or not. Or, man, we could buy it and re-roll that item. We could re-roll this. Health up. You know what? I think I'm gonna take this. Get some red health going. Um... I kind of feel like we should do this. Roll it. Eve's... Or Mom's eyeshadow. I was thinking that was Eve's mascara for some reason. Uh, okay, so can we leave the D6 in here, I wonder? Giant flies and spiders would be good, too, hive mind. Let's go ahead and do the next wave. Oh, we have to do an angel, huh? Yeah, gotcha. All right, so that wasn't too bad at all. Let's do the final wave. Gish. Who's this guy? <laughs> well, he's a cute little devil, whatever it is. Oh, Gish just landed on me. All right, Gish, come on. Whoop. Whoa. And you're done. Awesome. Double deal again. Krampus. Whoa. Okay, Krampus is different. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Sometimes Krampus is different anyway. Okay, we still got the coal though. We'll get the extra heart. Let's go clear this room down below. Okay, so there is nothing to clear here. We're just going to the womb, huh? Is there a key available? There is a key available for purchase. I see there's a button up here too. I wonder what the button does. Uh, oh, there's a chest. There's two keys. I think I want to open this chest. Got a bomb. Not really worth it. Guess we can do that and re-roll. Um, I think we're going to press the button. I got no. Just random stuff? Okay. Let's go into our item room here. Oh. So, Black Lotus gives us a red heart, a soul heart, and a black heart. I'm not sure what the skull thing does. We got lots of health. Let's pick this up. Nice hat. Host hat. Oh, I see. Okay, so it's got one of those little skull guys that pop up on our head now. What is this? Just the box? Alright, so that's the, the boss item. The box. Store credit. So that would give us a free item from the shop. What is this? That's a weird looking pill. Let's go back to the shop. And I think we're going to take the halo. Okay, I think we're good. I think we are good. We have the fool or the magician. I think we want maybe the magician. No, I think we'll take the fool. And finally, we'll head in here. A red chest. 
Just some flies. All right, let's do this. Whoops. <laughs> Oh, is that it? All right. So press the button again. Oh, you know what? Maybe walking on that button stops the round. Maybe that's what it is for the price of half a heart. Is that what happened? That might be what that is. Okay. <laughs> I did not see the laser spiders down there. It was a little cheap. Glad we got all this health because I am not dodging very well. Me, little stump thing, whatever that was. Masks, everybody's favorite. Guess we'll use a satanic bite and get another heart. Alright, that should kill that one guy. That guy's trapped. Great. You very good. How much how are we doing on life? Hey, that mask is trapped down there. I like it just the way the mask should be. Okay, guess we'll press this one more time. So there's our boss. Okay, Gertie really is not a difficult boss, doesn't look like it's been changed at all. This side, kill that little boil thing. All right. Oh, now we gotta do the puck style girdies. Oh, there's three of them. Wow. All right, come here, girdie. Stop running into you. <laughs> Right, so we can do one more. I think we're gonna do this. Whoop. All right, so double deal time. Two black hearts, worth. Is there anything else from the shop we should get while we're here? We got a lot of money. Is that synth oil? I think that is, I think that's worth. Let's damage up. Uh, we can get health up for 15 more. I'm not sure if we want to do that. I think we'll, we'll pick up a soul heart. We got 18, so that should allow us to get a 15 coin item on the next store if there is one. Let's go. Okay, what we got in here? Look for keys. We got keys. Spider. And a heart over there. Let's pick up a key. We'll go into our item room. We don't know what this is. My reflection. Is that doing... Oh, wow. Okay, so our laser is a little bit longer now. Pentagram. Damage up. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. What is that laser doing? It's like, oh, wiggly. <laughs> okay, so that's pretty cool. Hopefully that won't screw us up. All right, just a bed in here. Let's do it. Not sure if I like this. Whoa, whoa. Just gotta be careful about shooting the laser moving around. It seems like the the end of the laser wants to stay about right where it was when you first shoot it. Okay. Those guys are creepy looking. Gotcha. Great, and got you. Let's go ahead and use our satanic Bible. Oh, that should kill all the guys in the room. Okay, so let's collect our money. Yeah, this mode isn't too bad on the Zazzle. I don't know how it would be on other characters' strength. Fool. Okay. I don't know what those items are. I don't think I want to pick those up. I don't know. Maybe I do. Ah, let's pick up another key. Let's 
Press the button. Continue on here. Oh, I didn't even see that dude down here. Okay, spiders are the ones I really want to go real quick. Oh, are these guys making spiders? Is that what's happening? Kind of felt like that anyway. Okay, so that boss wasn't too bad, even though it was double trouble. We'll do this final boss. Oh, watch out. Yeah, our damage is pretty good right now. Just trying to get used to these new mechanics, though. All right, so we got a double deal. Okay. Well, you know what we got to do. We got to pick up the one that's one heart and then pick up one of the two heart ones. So this is Leech, Bloodsucker, and then... Spirit of the Night. Oh, and that's new. This now changes, even though we're out of red hearts, it changes to use soul hearts, which it never did before unless you rolled it. So Spirit of the Night is kind of a worthless item for us. Uh, I'm not sure if I should pick up that other item that was in there. I don't think it's worth three of my soul hearts at this point. Uh, do we have soul hearts up here? No. And that room might be closed now. It is. Okay, let's move on. Got some skulls in here. We might be able to get a black heart out of this. Can we blow up two of those with one bomb? I'm not sure how that works yet. Yes, we can. All right, let's just go. All right, so now we're in the chest, apparently. Curse of the Maze. What? <laughs> There's, like, not many rooms here to be Curse of the Maze. Uh, I've seen everything, so I wonder, do we have secret and super secret rooms? I don't know. Let's just go and roll what we got here. Alright, black candle will get rid of all of our different effects. Um, we're gonna roll a little bit more, see if we can get anything else here. So, I don't know what that battery is. That's new. Spoon bender. Hmm, I wonder how that would work with this. If that would fix the, the end of the laser staying there problem. I think we'll find that out. Homing shots. Nope, it's still the same thing, but maybe the laser will go after monsters. We will find that out. All right, let's do this. Oh, yeah, it does. I think it's all wiggly. Spoonbender OP. Oh, that was Leech. I was like, there's a thing following me. So what happens if moms... Oh, my goodness. That's new. I was going to say, what happens if Mom's hand grabs us? Because normally that thing takes us to the last room we were in. Would that take us back to the shop? Okay. Oh, two hands. Alright. Let's go ahead and do our Satanic Bible. I haven't really been paying attention to that. We're probably losing out on charges. Aha, uh -huh. so that wasn't bad. Let's go in here. Red chest, Guppy's paw. Well, I mean, if nothing else, it'll be one piece Guppy. Maybe we can find some other cat pieces. Um, so back to the shop. We have 33 coins. Huh. Is that Mr. Mega? Maybe, you know what? Let's go ahead and play with Judgy here. Maybe we can get health up from him. And if we get a double deal, it will use red health instead of our soul hearts. That'd probably be the most ideal thing we could do at this point. Come on, give us a health up. <laughs> He's just going to give us keys and bombs today. Come on, guy. Okay. Okay, not what I wanted. Now, I wonder, if we donate to this machine, does it roll that item over there, too? Nope, that item still stays the same. All right, so we found that out. Okay, I think we're good. Let's go ahead and spawn the next wave. Yeah, this will be really easy with the homing laser. Oh. Okay, that's a crazy dude. 
All right, so that wasn't bad at all with the longer laser homing laser. Let's do the next one. Pretty easy. <laughs> all right, double deal. Two more black hearts. I think we're good. The flies. Well, let's go down. Ultra Greed. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I was like, what's going on? <laughs> Guess we can use this. Ultra Greed. Oh, wow. What, what's going on? Do we have to kill these things? Guess we have to kill those. <laughs> this is crazy. Like, I'm really not sure. I mean, obviously, we're supposed to be doing damage to the boss, but there's, like, all these different rooms and stuff? Hmm. Well, this is interesting anyway. I like the animations and stuff. Okay. <laughs> this is really cool. I like this. Completely different than what I was expecting. So this guy definitely has a lot of health, though. I'm looking at his health bar at the bottom center of the screen. Yeah, I mean, we're doing damage, but... Oh, man. Okay, what are you doing? Don't do that. All right, he's getting close. Oh, that butt cheek action, though. Gotcha. So, can we, can we touch this guy? No. Uh-huh. So there's a greed machine down here. I suppose we should just donate all of our money, right? I'm pretty sure that chest is going to mean that we're out of here. Does he come back to life? Do we have to kill him again if he comes back? I don't know. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Alright, let's hit the chest. Unlocked Lilith. You unlock challenge 21. You unlock challenge 22. You unlock challenge 23. You unlock challenge 24. You unlock challenge 25. You unlock challenge 26. 27. 28. 29. And 30. Wait, was 30 the last one? Lucky Pennies has appeared. You unlock special hanging shopkeepers. Aha! Okay, lots of unlocks, lots of cool stuff. I'm really excited about Afterbirth. That's it for this episode of The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth. If you liked the episode, hit that like button, guys. Show your support. But that's all we got time for for today. Thanks for watching, guys, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye.